Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video and another wacky style deck video for today again. And this deck is kind of focused on, I wanted to use the Osmo 4000. I've been seeing a lot more play with him. Unfortunately, I only have him to level 3. I need a bunch of alien hands to get him, and probably some chips, to get him to level 4, as I have enough of the cards to do that, I just don't have enough materials. Uh, Pocahontas Randy is a card that I made a deck with months ago that actually worked out for me really well. I, and some people have still been saying Pocahontas Randy is still the worst Randy out there right now, even with all the legendary and epic buffs that came to the game. I still want to see if I can make him viable in this deck. I've got my Lightning Bolt to cancel. I've got a ton of epic cards, a ton of level 4 epic cards of that. I've got my man Marcus, my man Tally. I've got Cyborg Kenny, Bounty Hunter Kyle, Hook and Clyde, Storyteller Jimmy. All these good stuff. I've also got my man Astro Butters, and I've got Robo Bebe. Let's see if this deck can work, guys. It's pretty expensive, but again, the basically the how much the cost of decks don't seem to matter much anymore within this game, which is a new kind of thing within this meta. But I again, I'm just trying to have fun with some of these videos, make some wackier decks for you guys. These decks may or may not work. Probably won't work. The last one really didn't work out too well. You guys really didn't like the amount of spells that I had in the deck, which is viable. Four spells was a lot. This one has one, so let's see what we can do with it. Against Sophia, 2099. A fairly high-ranked player currently, but a level 17 new kid. So we got a chance <laughs> at that. So let's see what we can do. We're going to start with Marcus to start. To which is one of my favorite cards to start any match with. He's going to hit me with the Hokan Clyde. He's not going to hit me personally with the Hokan Clyde, but he's going to use the Hokan Clyde. So we know he's rolling adventure as well. I assume a stand of many moons is going to be rolling around at some point in this match. I feel like it's Pocahontas Randy time. But you know what you're thinking, Drew. This is a bad idea. It's too late now, guys. We got this rolling here. All right. Now we've got Pocahontas Randy. We got an Indian out here. We've also got Dog Poo getting wailed on, which is all well and good. Unfortunately, Storyteller Jimmy is dead, which is not cool. So we got Pocahontas Randy here. He's doing he's doing his thing. Unfortunately, he's not going to get a second Indian out, or he is, but unfortunately, it's going to be a an opposing one, not not a friendly one. So now I got to deal with my own Indian, which stinks. We got Astro Butters. Gonna cancel out Deckhand Butters and heal up Mecha Timmy, unfortunately. Mecha Timmy's gonna make Robo Bebe turn against him. We're gonna get the Tally out here to try to deal with all that. It doesn't really work out for us. Tally's getting buffed up a little bit. We've got Kyle doing some good damage. Uh, let's just let this play out for right now, guys. Player slow and steady as Benny Hair Kyle is still out of range of the new kid. Tally is getting buffed up and still doing a ton of damage. Has the potential to do a ton of damage here in a second. It looks like Sophia is just going to take this, eat this, eat this damage, which is smart. Tally will survive the explosion. And now we've got full health, so let's see what we can do here with the Marcus uh, as well. Uh, oh, she's going to play an awesome -o, which is awesome, you know. So I'll see you an awesome -o with my awesome -o. Unfortunately, yours is level 4, mine's level 3. So you have the advantage there. All right, it is. Uh, we're with the dog poo. Let's freeze this up. Slow the roll down a little bit. Let's get the Tortell Jim Jim out here to do some poke damage. Hopefully, we got Hook Hand Clyde. Who's Hook Hand Clyde going for? He's going for the new kid. That's not a big deal. I think it's Pocahontas Randy time. So let's get him out here. See what we can do here. We got Bounty Hunter Kyle as well. Help out. Let's freeze this deckhand butters. Let's get rid of deckhand butters. Let's get rid of them. I don't want them no more. Let's get Robo Baby out here. Let's kill some of these rats, yo. I put her a little too close for comfort. She's going to take a ton of damage here. And uh, she's going to die. And his entire push is still there. Oh, we got the victory. Good game. Nice outfit. We get the win. I didn't even realize the game was going down. I was so focused on laying you down with some commentary. And we get Calamity Heidi. We get the Sheriff Stars. I don't ever get Sheriff Stars. 
Uh, you guys have seen me complain about sheriff stars all the time. I got them there. So I guess I don't always not get them because I got them in that scenario there. But the wacky deck works in match number one against a player that was ranked higher than us in the latter, but a lower level new kid. And, and level of new kid doesn't matter so much once you get to the uh, legendary arenas because generally they have focused on smart cards and haven't leveled up all the cards like yours truly has. I've, I've focused on leveling as many cards as I could because... There's always balance changes. This game is always going to be changing, evolving with all the different stuff that has happened. And I didn't want to just focus on one specific thing. Plus, as a content creator, I want to have variety for you guys to make these different decks out. There have been some cards that I have neglected for, for reasons for myself that I don't enjoy the cards themselves. Some of you enjoy them, so you suggest them in decks, and I don't play them. But that's not the point. We've got Monocold. Monocle Judge, 2466 is the next opponent. He, as well, is a level 17 new kid. But again, guys, level doesn't really matter that much. He's going to go with Energy Staff to start. We're going to go with Marcus to start because Marcus is one of my favorite cards to start with in a match. In case you guys are wondering, we're going to have the slow and steady, boring deck that is Mystical. He's also going to probably have a ton of Cox based on what I'm seeing right now. I have also a ton of Energy. I should probably start using said energy. Let's see here. This looks like Robo Bebe time. Let's lower the damage of these cocks. That's what Storyteller Jimmy does so well. Uh, he's going to focus on Tally, which is a smart play. Get Tally out of there. If you want a chance to win, you need to get rid of Tally. But Robo Bebe's in the back, man. She is going to be doing work. Back there in the back, being ignored, essentially. Get Astro Butters out here. Try to get rid of the Amazingly Randy, which we're able to do, luckily enough. And then look at my man, Hook Hand Clyde. He's just going to go ham forward to do a bunch of damage there. Ooh, what's the play, Drew? What's the play? Cyborg Kenny is the play there. And uh, that's a bar. So, boom. Uh, I don't think Procreate Stone is going to hit a hit. Ooh, he almost did. He thought about it. He thought about getting that hit, guys, but he didn't get it off. It's all good. We got Awesome out coming out. I'm probably going to put Pocahontas Randy behind him. Which, uh, I don't know if that's a smart play, but we're going with it anyhow. We're going to freeze this up, the Friar Jim Job, and we're just going to smack him around. Basically, for what it kind of looks like, man, Awesome is essentially dick punching. That's essentially what Osmo's doing. In case you guys are wondering, he's basically dick punching you to death. Killed my Osmo, which was an interesting play, might I add. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, all this. It's Bounty Hunter Kyle time. It's Bounty Hunter Kyle time. Is what it is. We've got an Indian. We've got Astro Butters. That's a very dead. Uh, Dwarf King Clyde. And look at that level 5 Zen Cartman, dude. He is getting wailed on. We got that Indian on the new kid doing some poke damage. We've got all of this, guys. This deck is working out much better than the last deck did for us. As that is another bar. And see, you wait for the Marcus or you wait for the damage to be done, so then you can just use the Marcus with the charge. That's a good game. That's a nice outfit. We took no damage from Monocle there. And we get a win. That's two straight wins in two consecutive matches. So Wacky Deck number two for the week is much more effective than Wacky Deck number one was. Can we get us some seven Mage Tomes? I really want it. We're going to go for it here. Ooh, we're not going to get it. We're not going to waste any more cash trying to get the Mage Tomes. Um, so yeah, deck's working out. Let's see what we have to as donations. I will hook that up. I will also hook up with the butters there and we'll try one more match see if we can get this pvp pack done and then wrap up the video guys but uh yeah a lot of stuff going on this week we got new challenge mode that's gonna be that's come out i don't know when i'm gonna post this video i really don't know when i'm gonna post it challenge mode coming we're gonna have a weekend event coming 24 hour event that no one really cares about so i may post this video during the 24 hour event because i don't really care about that personally we got Osmo to start for the first time, and my man's coming out to start. He's going to go with the Marine Craig. 
That's just cold-blooded is what that is, sir. I don't appreciate the cold-bloodedness right there, okay? I don't appreciate it. And I'm offended that you thought that was cool. I apologize for the sound that you guys may or may not be hearing in the background, which is my computer speakers. They get very loud and annoying sometimes. Look at this push coming at you. Oh no, freeze that up. No, everybody's dead. That push coming at you. Oh no, terrible play, Drew. Terrible play with the, uh, for the Robo Baby. It was terrible. It was terrible. She's going to get poisoned to death. Tally, do something. <laughs> Salvage this push for me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. But it's all good. Oops. That was a terrible play of the uh, of the Astro Butters. I know that. Marcus, will he win this? No, he will not. The answer to that question, he will not win that. Pokemon is ready to put in the back, which was a bad play. So we're going to lose a bar now. Because of that bad play. We got Storyteller Jim Jam out here. To try to distract a little bit. We got the Indian coming in. The poison damage has worn itself down. He's still got poison though in road or in his uh, as an option. So we have to be wary of that. Alright. No can Clyde moment. There's a Robo Baby moment. With the rats. Oh, is that a is that a Kyle on the new kid right now? You also don't have rats to counter Cyborg Kenny. So that's a bar, my friend. Ha boom! Oh. Oh. Oh snap! I don't have anything for his Cyborg Kenny. That's okay, because that'll just tie the match up. Oh no! Oh, no! No! No. That stinks. Nice outfit. The game. Because that's a loss. Got the Robo Baby behind us. Snuck it in there. But we get the bar that we needed. So we get at least the PvP pack. We win two matches. We lose one. Ooh. That was... That sucked that we were not able to get the lightning bolt in time to help cancel out the cyborg Kenny, so it was killed by Robo Bebe, which really stinks, but, you know, it happens. And we're getting some alien hands, which is exactly what we need to work our way towards our awesome 4000 at level 4, and we basically get nothing else of value there in that PvP pack. But there we go, guys. That is the wacky deck number 2 for the week, probably four consecutive videos. I, again, will not, I am not sure when I will open this or post this video for you guys um, on the channel. But this is the deck that I used. So uh, as you guys critiqued me in the last video, I'm sure you will critique me on this one. But I feel like this one was much more effective and actually fun. And I may keep using it for a little while longer. Uh, if there's anything that I need to change with it, uh, let me know. Obviously, I need to play Robo Baby better because I had three terrible plays of Robo Baby that I think cost me. Definitely almost cost me a couple times uh, in some of those matches, and probably cost me in the third match for sure. I just put her just way too far forward, thinking that Osmo was going to absorb more damage than he really did. I mean, I would love to get Osmo to level 4. I think he's going to be kind of fun to utilize at level 4, because, again, sci-fi is my favorite theme, guys. It's It's been my favorite theme. It probably will always be my favorite theme. So the fact that uh, there are some solid epic cards within the uh, sci-fi theme right now, I would like... I wish that I had 6 element Randy to a decent level. He is still only level 1, guys, so I really can't utilize him. I would probably prefer him over Pocahontas Randy at level 3, for sure. But if I could get Pocahontas Randy to level 4, which is doable. I mean, only 2 upgrades away and then 5 cards. So it is doable here, hopefully soon, to get him to level 4 and see if he's a little bit more respectable at level 4. Uh, but I definitely think that the... Uh, Six element Rainy is strong. It's definitely stronger and better, but at level one, it's not better than a level three Pokemon Rainy. 
but this is just a wacky deck to try out, try some different things out, try to have some more fun with this game, like I said in the last video, which I'm really trying to do. Uh, hopefully I added the right Patreon link to my Patreon page in the description now. I don't think that I had the right one in there, but if you guys would like to join my Patreon, I would greatly appreciate it. It would help support me and support the channel and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to become a member of the channel, I don't know if that's a, an option for me through YouTube, but if that is an option and you guys would like to do that, that would also be awesome and helpful to me as well. Thank you guys for the continued support. You guys are amazing. And until next time, guys, my name is Drews. 